Okay. Looks like there's another hermit crab there. One there. One there. pretty big one you can see his claws they can pinch you that one's out there a little bit further I think there's enough of them around I ain't gonna wander out there and slip down and fall okay you see me pick up these um, these hermit crabs now of course this is a saltwater snail that died and the hermit crab uh, took over the shell and it's made it its home and that's how it protects itself now with the uh, hermit crabs it's a little bit more work but it's the same thing you take the hammer but the shell's a little harder but it's the very same principle the the, the hermit crab is kind of half hard and half soft believe it or not you know the first part of the crab with the pinchers and everything uh, he has a shell on him but the back portion of him the part that the fish really like, the real soft part, almost looks like a worm. And he has got himself curled, that worm part is curled up, and he's attached himself right there on the very end. So that's where you want to break open first. So you take that, and you can see, it ain't the easiest, okay? You see there now? That's what I'm talking about. That's the back portion of that hermit crab. That looks like a worm, that don't look like a crab, but that's the part the fish really like right there, okay? So basically, you just uh, finish cracking, uh, cracking it open, like so, and now you get a really good picture of the entire crab. Now, caution, these little boogers, they do have claws on them, so you wanna be careful. And what I like to do is when I take the crab out, I like, to take and remove. You can see those claws right there. You can see them. And I tell you, they can pinch you. And they can pinch hard. So what I do is I just take it and remove them. I remove the claws right away. And I ain't got to worry about it no more. So there, okay. Now you can put that on your, you can put that on your hook just like that if you want to. Okay. But you're going to stand the very first sheep head that bites at he is going to, the, the, the chances that he's going to steal that bait from you are pretty good. That's why I like using the wrap. Uh, now it ain't, it ain't difficult, uh, but it's a little bit different. You're actually going to have to manually put that crab in here. But again, it's not hard. Okay? You just basically worm him in there. I like to, I like to put the, uh, uh, the worm part first, and I just basically Put him in the wrap. Just kind of put him in there like that. Get those. Now he ain't got the claws. He can't hurt you. And once I get him in there, see how that just kind of goes in there like that? Nothing to it. And I just kind of shake him down a little bit. Again, this is a little bit more work. But once you get him in there, and now I'll take and trim off, trim off that wrap a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do now, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna show this on film, but I want this to be as juicy as I can. The, the fish don't care if he's alive or dead, okay? But in order to really get the scent in the water, what I do now is I take and I crush the hard part of the crab up. And now I put my hook in there, and I guarantee you, you'll have a lot of scent in the water. And, uh, and the fish is not going to be able to get that off your hook. You'll probably be able to catch multiple fish um, with that hermit crab. Again, one of the, uh, the the wrap fishing system is very flexible. You, you can put anything inside that wrap. In this case, we're using a hermit crab. I could have uh, oysters in there. I could have mussels in there. I could have shrimp in there. Um, you know, I can have cut bait in there. Cocktail baits that I make up. Uh, I can make up a concoction for catfish or carp, uh, put it in there, and uh, it's, it's very easy.